I just recorded it on, uh, what was that, Tuesday? And then Mark came in on Wednesday and laid down some Creole cello on it. I don't know if you ever heard Creole cello, but you're going to hear it, right? <laughs> The song came about when I was on the road with Uncle Lucius. We were on the road somewhere in the United States. And I know it was the United States because there was a USA Today on the counter in a hotel I was checking into. And there was a little blurb on the front uh, about sinkholes opening up in Tannerbone Parish, Louisiana. And I'm second in line, it's just taking a while, so I had a lot of time to really let this go, and I just smoked a big old doobie. <laughs> so I'm really thinking about it. My mind goes right back to Tetherbone Parish, Louisiana, where I would go as a kid all the time and visit my in-law, or my, my folks, my, my mom's side of the family. My mom was born in New Orleans and raised down in Raceland and Homa, and then moved as a kid to Lake Jackson, Clute, and met my dad, who's from Angleton, and they had me, and I'm from Freeport. But we'd all go, always go visit my family down in Terrebonne Parish, and they were amazing, and could cook anything, and would cook anything, and would eat anything, and could drink anybody here at the table, and then work 80 hours a week, you know, it was amazing. And uh, their neighbors were even more interesting. I remember seeing a guy eat fresh turtle eggs, and I was about six, and I was like, what is going on? <laughs> but I had this archetype for a person from Tenerbone Parish, Louisiana. Right when I saw that blurb in the USA Today, I started thinking of a guy, and I see him in my mind. I see him standing on a P-Row in them long boats that you pull down the bayou. The bayou. Not over here, bayou. Yeah. Uh, and it's a long pole, and you push it, and you pull down the bayou. And I see him, and I name him Johnny Thibodeau in my mind. And I see him there, and I think the sinkhole's opening up in that swampy land where they've been coming in, and, you know, oil men, and they're digging, and there's all these sinkholes opening up. And I see this man, Johnny Thibodeau, barely making it out as the water's coming, and the sinkhole opens up, and it takes everything that he has except himself and that hero, and he makes it out just in time. Okay, I'm gonna get up to the room and start writing this thing. And I start writing it, I get it, I get a couple verses in, and then I'm like, yeah, this is actually kind of cool. And I can't finish it. It's just like, but but I've learned to not force these things. You just have to file it back, make note, and I've forgotten more songs than I've remembered by doing this, but I trust the process. <laughs> so fast forward a few months later, somewhere on the road again, uh, in a hotel room, after a show, sleep. The guitar player's in this bed over here. TV's on. Snoring wakes me up. It's about four in the morning. And there's a movie starting on the classic movie channel called Louisiana Story. I'm just like, I'm just like, okay, it's in black and white. It's got my interest. I'm watching it. And it was like filmed in the 40s, it looked like. I've looked this up and it's filmed in 48. And it was uh, actually commissioned by Standard Oil. Which is interesting. I didn't know this until the other day. Uh, it's kind of like an advertisement for them to go down and, and it's uh, it has these actors playing oil men, and then these real people I think that really lived down there in the 40s in the swamp, rooting them on. You're like, I hope you strike it big, man. I'm rooting for you. And they, it's like they have these actors do this, and they film these people that live down there and say, uh, just you know, tell us a story or do something, and then we'll edit this in later and make it look like a movie. And they did that interesting. And the thing that popped out was this, this old man sitting telling a story in his house. He takes this big hump of chaw and he's got it in his mouth and he said, my friend got his hand bit off by the alligator. <laughs> and he's happy to be alive. And so he sings this song all day. And then he pops into this song. And I'm like, yes. I sit up straight up in bed like, that's it. That's how I'm going to finish the Johnny Tibbetts song. So I took that song and put it on the end of this one, and it all makes sense. <laughs> this is called The Luckiest Creole in Tenerbone Parish. <laughs> Hey, it's an aftermath. Johnny 
sat for a while that she gon' sink it. Daddy'd swim a second line to march and sing. Even made the new spread boats as lucky as three on the telephone. Tempest took his truck and his trailer home, buddy. Got that P roll and his life. Thank you.